Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad with your solar eclipse weather update. Now remember, we're still six days out, so the models can change, but here's where we need it to be clear. The path, well, we need it to be clear around San Antonio, Dallas, St. Louis, uh, Little Rock, Indianapolis, Columbus, Buffalo, and then points up towards the Northeast. Now, in my last video, I did mention there could be a problem for some of us. Well, the GFS is indicating that it's temperature-wise, it's going to be pretty nice, but it's also putting a storm system there in Michigan. So what does that mean? Well, right now, based on this model, there's going to be clouds and some rain in Illinois, portions of Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, uh, portions of New York and Pennsylvania. Those of you down towards Texas, Dallas, you should be okay based on this model. However, the European model is showing something a little bit different. It pushes that storm system a little bit further towards the north and it's a little bit faster as well, which means that the rain gets pushed down towards the Ohio Valley and further towards the east. So the bottom line is if this model verifies, and again, we're still six days out, you should be okay in this path. And even Indianapolis, you should be in pretty good shape as well as St. Louis. But this is also now indicating there could be more cloud cover up into the northeast if you think this model is going to verify. Once again, we're still six days out and the models are still having a hard time trying to figure out exactly where that storm is going to be. The thing that I am convinced, there will be a storm system in the area, so it's going to affect some of us. So if you're trying to plan exactly where you want to go see the total solar eclipse, it may be just a little bit too early, but I'll be back with more updates as we get a little bit closer to April 8th. Until that time, I'm George, the Weather Dad.